So if you're watching this video, I'm pretty sure you saw my thumbnail and that pretty much sums up what I thought about this movie. My name is Brennan Keith Avery and this is just my opinion. Suburbicon, yeah. So it's Monday. I just got back from an early screening of seeing Suburbicon and surprisingly enough, I was actually really excited about seeing this movie. It's being directed by George Clooney. Of course, you know who George Clooney is. He's been in pretty much everything. Teams up a lot with Matt Damon. And also, you know, he was in the Olsen's trilogy and he's done a few, um, you know, directing, you know, he's done a few films that he's been the director on, like Eyes of March, the Monuments Men. And I liked Eyes of March, but Monuments Men, I was not a fan of. Also, before I get further into the view, help me out. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Click the bell so you can be notified. And also, give me that thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. So, you're probably wondering, like, Brandon, why? Why did you make a thumbnail like that? And then that's just pretty much how I feel. And if I had to, if George Clooney, he's not watching this review, but if you or I just have one question to ask you, sir. What the hell, man? Like, what the hell were you thinking? Why did you make this movie? Why did you let the trailers come out and let this be so misleading as well? I understand that the directors normally don't have control over the marketing. Sometimes they do if they're a big time director. And you are not. You're a big time star. You're not a big time director. But I am very upset and bothered and disturbed with this film that you decided to put together. Not only is it poorly put together, but it's racist as hell. I mean, this is not a true story. But let me let me just take a step back and not let my emotions drive this bus into a river. Now, if you've seen the trailers, it's safe to assume that you probably think that you know, there's a home invasion in this suburbicon, this perfect American town. And um, not George Clooney, but Matt Damon's wife get kidnapped or dies. And, you know, uh, Matt Damon is going off for revenge. He's like a pushover or something like that. And, you know, he has a team of a little, little boy and they just have to live the rest of their lives. That is the exact opposite of this movie. It is nothing like that at all. Um, and there's really just nothing to like about this movie either. It is very scattered scattered all over the place it has a scattered plot um god it's just so frustrating like there is nothing in this movie that like the story is all over the place the characters are all over the place and the tone is all over the place and then it tries to take like three different stories like of suburbicon itself then this black family over here and then what's going on in Matt Damon's world with his family like that. And they try to mesh it all together, but it doesn't come together at all. It just comes together in some like goulash mess. Every character in this movie is dis is despicable. Matt Damon's character is despicable. His wife is despicable. Uh, the robbers are despicable and everybody in the town is despicable. There is no one in this movie to like other than the little boy. And then you have this black family over here that's getting terrorized literally for no reason at all. And I'm just asking myself, as soon as the movie started off, I'm like, okay, I know this is taking place in the 1950s and I know that racism was extremely high, but was it really necessary to have this little racial episode at the very beginning of the movie and then for it not to address that until like like the later on in the halfway point it was really drawing like that whole time i was like what is the point why did you put this in the movie but then towards the end of the movie it gets even worse i mean seriously this movie is an example of how america was back then and how it is today it shows how america was sick back in the 1950s and it shows how america is still sick today and needs some serious deep serious deep tissue cleansing and I can't put it any better than that, even if I tried like all day, all night. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I really just don't understand what the point of this movie is. I mean, this movie reveals all the lies and the corruption that this country tries to hide behind. And, you know, it's sickening. I mean, I remember when I was walking out of the theater, surprisingly, too, there was a number of black people at the screening. And like the screenings that I go to, not that many black people go to. I'm like, like a, it's like a handful of us, but it was like a lot of black people. All the black people leaving were pissed off, like angry, saying that they hated this movie. Even a couple of white people came out just like, yeah, that show sure does uh, look like America today. Or like, I hated the film. Or what was the point of that? What was the point of this? There is no happy ending. There is no justice. I mean, you just get to see uh, like an hour and 45 minutes of bull crap of terrorism. And, you know, people get away with it. And that reminds me of America today. I mean, some, you know, 
majority of the time just an innocent person innocent black man black woman black family or whatever are getting terrorized and they get away with it and i don't want to see that in a movie this is not a true story if it's a true story that's just an account of history but this what were you doing i i i just don't understand i mean you just wanted to make a movie to reveal some things that we already knew so i, I just had to sit through this crap like I said, there's not much to like about this movie. They are, every character is desp despicable. Every single character. And I don't know what's worse. The people that are actually doing the horrible acts or the people that are just complacent sitting on the sideline watching it happen. And this is a perfect example of this, this movie for you. I kind of have an idea what George Clooney was going for, but he failed miserably. Um, I didn't like the film and I don't appreciate it. It's just a big mess. And I was really looking forward to this movie, but it's just like all over the place. The script is bad. The story is bad. The characters were bad. Um, the score, no, not the, the, the soundtrack towards the beginning and midpoints in the film, you know, did kind of raise, you know, tension levels. Um, but I was ready for it to be over with, um, you know, at the 30 minute mark. If I had to rate Suburbicon out of a one out of 10, I would give this a two out of 10. Yes, a two out of 10. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen Suburbicon? Do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can get all the content that I have to provide. You can click the bell so you can be notified when I do make uploads. Also, go to my website. Check me out there. Bookmark it. I do have written reviews. And also, look me up on social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All that good stuff. It's right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy for you guys by providing a link down to all that in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review of this crap ass movie called Suburbicon, directed by George Clooney star Matt Damon. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.